Mother Goose. Once, not very long ago, there lived a little old lady and her son, Colin. They lived in a house in the forest, and they were very, very poor. The old lady kept three geese in the backyard of their house, Harold, Henry, and Priscilla. The old lady loved the geese so much that everyone for miles around called her Mother Goose. One morning, Baron Hardup, who lived in the big house at the top of the hill, came to call. Mother Goose! He cried as he rapped at the door. Mother Goose! You haven't paid your rent these past two months. Where's my money? We have no money to give you, sir, said Mother Goose. All we have to live on are the fruit and berries we find in the forest and the eggs our geese lay. Our last gold sovereign was spent two months ago. Aha! said the Baron. So you eat the fruit in my forest and then tell me <laughs> you cannot pay the rent, eh? Huh? We could give you goose eggs, sir, said Colin. Priscilla's eggs are especially large and delicious to eat. Goose eggs? Ha! replied Baron Hardup. Goose eggs are worth nothing to me. I want my rent. Five gold sovereigns by the end of the week, or I'll throw you out of your house. And he walked off into the forest in a very bad temper. Oh, Colin, cried Mother Goose, what are we to do? We have no money to pay the Baron, and soon we won't have a roof over our heads either. And she burst into tears. <laughs> Don't cry, Mother, said Colin. Something will turn up, and besides, I have some wonderful news for you. I am to be married to my sweetheart, Nell. Married? said Mother Goose. And, and, and what will you live on? I suppose you will go away and, and leave me on my own, and things will be worse than ever. And she cried even more loudly than before. There's only one thing for it, said Colin. I will have to take our geese Harold and Henry and Priscilla to market and sell them. At least we'll be able to pay the Baron his rent. Mother Goose could not bear to be parted from her geese, but at last she agreed to sell them, and Colin set off for market. On the way, he met his sweetheart Nell and told her about his mother and the Baron and the geese. Oh, let me come with you, Colin, said Nell. If we can raise five gold sovereigns, your mother won't have to leave the house and we can be married. In the marketplace, there was a crowd of people bustling, jostling, pushing and shoving. Roll up, cried Colin. Who will buy these fine geese? The three geese were well fed and plump, and their feathers were snowy white. Soon, Colin had sold Harold and Henry to a farmer for two sovereigns each. As the farmer prepared to lead them away, Nell bent down and kissed them. Goodbye. Harold, goodbye, Henry, she whispered. Now, only Priscilla was left. Roll up, cried Colin. Who will buy this fine goose? Just as he spoke, a very strange thing happened. Priscilla laid an egg. But it wasn't any ordinary egg. It was an egg of pure gold. Look, Colin, said Nell. Priscilla has laid a golden egg. Oh, you clever goose. Quickly, Colin, let's go and show Mother. As they were about to leave the marketplace, two men came up to Colin and Nell. That's a fine goose you have there, said one of them, and he stroked Priscilla's feathers as she sat in Nell's arms. How much do you want for her? said the second man. I'm sorry, she's not for sale, said Nell. You see, she lays golden eggs, and we need the money to pay Baron Hardup's rent. And Nell and Colin ran away home, carrying Priscilla and the golden egg very carefully. Golden eggs, eh? said the first man. 
I think Baron Ardup would like to hear about this. And the two men left the marketplace and went to tell the Baron. When Colin and Nell told Mother Goose what had happened, she was overjoyed. Oh, Priscilla, you have saved us, she cried. Colin, put Priscilla to bed in our best sheets and hide the golden egg behind the stove. Tomorrow, we can pay the Baron his money, and good, kind, clever Priscilla will lay us lots and lots of golden eggs, and we shall be rich. But Colin put the golden egg too close to the stove, and in the night, it melted away. Only tiny pieces of molten gold remained. Meanwhile, the Baron had heard about the goose who laid golden eggs. I must have that goose, he cried. And in the night, he crept through the forest to Mother Goose's house. He climbed through the window into Colin's bedroom, put one hand on Priscilla's beak so that she couldn't squawk, and carried her off into the night. When morning came, there was no sign of Priscilla, and there was no sign of the golden egg. How will we find the money to pay the Baron now? wailed Mother Goose. We have lost Priscilla and the golden egg. <laughs> In his castle, Baron Hardup was talking to Priscilla. Now, my beauty, he said, you will lay me one golden egg after another, <laughs> won't you? Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. A talking goose, eh? said the Baron. Then perhaps you will tell me why you won't lay me golden eggs. You have a heart of stone, said Priscilla. For you, I can lay only stone eggs. Mother Goose and her family have hearts of gold, so for them, I can lay golden eggs. We'll soon see about that, said the Baron, and he reached out his arms to grab Priscilla round the neck. I'll shake a golden egg out of you. But Priscilla was too quick for him. She rushed out of the castle and down the path that led to the forest. Baron Hardup chased after her as fast as his legs would carry him. Into the forest they ran, Priscilla always keeping just a few yards ahead of the Baron. At last, she reached Mother Goose's house. No! Mother! cried Colin when he saw Priscilla. Look who's here! Priscilla jumped into his arms, safe at last. The Baron arrived, panting and muttering. All right, Mother Goose, he snarled. You may have the goose that lays golden eggs, but you still haven't paid me my rent. If you don't pay it this very instant, I'll have you thrown out of the house. Look behind the stove said Mother Goose. There you will find all the gold you'll ever get from me. Baron Hardup scrabbled around the floor on his hands and knees, trying to pick up the tiny pieces of molten gold. Mother Goose and Colin and Nell and Priscilla went far away from Baron Hardup's forest to a place where the sun always shone. Colin and Nell were married and lived happily ever after. And if ever Mother Goose or any of her family ever wanted for anything, Priscilla was always happy to lay another golden egg.